What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now today is the 11th of the 11th 2015 and it's the day Banshee, the Tower Gunsmith brings our Arms Day weapons from the packages we picked up last week. Now in this video I'm going to give you guys my recommendations of what you should pick up. Uh, but before we get into the video may I just state, I only look at these weapons for PvP. It's rare that I see one that I think, yeah, that could be good in PvE. So when I'm looking at these, I'm looking at them with a the sense of using them in PvP. And the first weapon this week we have the Suros ARI-41. This is a also a rifle. It's have a look at the mods on this bad boy okay sites we have the SRO 37 SPO 28 and the SLO 12 um, high caliber rounds casket mag uh, hand laid stock speed reload and partial refund hand laid stock does max stability but look at the range absolutely pathetic and range is what it's all about in weapons of destiny and when you got a range that bad when your impacts higher than your range it's an absolute no go it really is what does the second one offer um we've got outlaw we can see there uh, SRO 37 spo 26 and the slo 12 we have hammer forge not bad we have oiled frame, so you'd want to go hammer forge there. Speed reload or small bore, so you want hammer forge, small bore, and outlaw. That isn't a bad roll, to be honest. Now, this shoots pretty quick, so you do want as much stability as you can get. That's probably the best so far. Let's see what the third one offers. So this one's got target acquisition, better target acquisition. Okay, so we've got the SRO41, not bad, love that sight. SPO26 and the SLO12, perfect balance, pretty good. Uh, casket mag, we've got reinforced barrel and lightweight and hidden hand. This weapon gains better target acquisition. So we've got perfect balance, lightweight and hidden hand. Um, it's probably a mix up between one, uh, two and three. Depends if you want more stability. Personally, I'd probably go with this one though. This weapon isn't too hard to control. If you can, if you can handle your weapons, this one ain't too bad. So I'd probably go with number three here. But it's completely up to you. Definitely one, uh, definitely two or three completely avoid number one i'm going to take them through okay next up we have the herjad d now this is a push rifle everybody ranted about i actually forgot to pick up or i must have missed it somehow uh, glad i got, uh, chose it last week let's see what these offer uh, this is their push rifle that is a three burst headshot kill by the way um, this one's got sights we've got ga post and we've got the uh, sd thermal um, we've got danger close uh, counterbalance high caliber round speed reload and oil frame not bad of a roll to be honest, danger close and counterbalance, but nothing great, nothing to nothing to write home about. Let's see what the second one offers. So this one we can see it's got full auto already. I think that's surrounded, yes it is. This weapon gets bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. Full auto, not bad. We got any stability perk? No, we haven't. Snapshot sights, we got GB Iron and LB Assault. Um, that's still that's not a bad roll, but it's not great. And let's see what the third one offers. Okay. Okay, so we've got here LB Assault, we've got SC Hollow, we've got Last Resort. This weapon handles and reloads faster when the world is the last living player on the fire team. Great for Trials of Osiris. We've got Counterbalance, which increases stability. We've got high caliber burns, speed reload, and injection mode. Yes, number three is definitely the one you want to pick up. Um, the more stability you can get on this bad boy, the easier it is to hit them headshots, making this thing drop enemies in an instant. So, in my opinion, pick up number three. Okay, the third weapon we've got is a Lewid Miller D. This is a two burst headshot kill push rifle if you are on target hitting the head. Uh, the first one offers, let's see, I've picked this up three weeks in a row now. Um, so I almost said whoa, fucking hell, haters come at me. Uh, so we've got GA Post, we've got LC Ranged, we've got Army of One, Full Auto, Snapshot, Speed Reload and Injection Mode. So we've got Full Auto, Army of One and a little bit of stability there. The Gunsmith hasn't brought this weapon where it has max stability. I'm still waiting. On him to do that, I really am. I want this weapon with max ability. Okay, this one looks pretty interesting. We've got LC range, we've got GB iron, crowd control, counterbalance, high caliber rounds, speed reload, and injector mode. Yes, number two doesn't seem too bad to be honest. Let's see what the third one offers, but number two is looking the best so far. Okay, so we've got here, we've got LC range, we've got SC hollow, we've got head seeker, 
We've got full auto, snapshot, speed reload and injection mode. So it's a mix up between uh, basically head seeker and whatever the second one was, curve control. Um, me personally, because this thing isn't that accurate, I mean you'll hit headshots leading up to the head. I'm going to take number three. Uh, but you guys, if you if you prefer crowd control, you can take number two. But me personally, I'll probably choose head seeker over uh, crowd control. Let's just let's, I'm just going to take number three. Not that I'll probably use it anyway, as I'm still waiting on that bad boy with perfect, but well with max stability, which probably ain't never going to come. But still, okay. The next up we have to sue us JLB 47 rocket launcher. I've actually got a badass one of these with grenades and horseshoes, which mind you doesn't fucking work. Um, we've got hard launch, we've got linear compensator and aggressive launch, single point sling, flared magma, we've got cluster bomb, perfect balance and quick draw. Let's see what the second one offers. Okay, this one tracks targets, this could be pretty good for PvE, you heard me say it. Hard launch, smart drift control, aggressive launch, heavy payload, increases warhead blast radius, speed reload, tracking, Javelin and lightweight. Yes, I'd probably pick up this one. Number two looks pretty decent. Let's have a look at number three. Um, okay, so we've got aggressive launch, soft launch, and hard launch. We've got uh, fled magua, single point sling, cluster bomb, javelin, and snapshot. Uh, yes, I'm going to take number two just for that tracking. I mean, number one and number three are pretty similar. Uh, number th number two it is definitely for me. Okay, next up we have the Irene or the Irene RR4 a Mullen Sniper Rifle. Okay, let's have a look at this bad boy. Um, let's see, we've got Aquila. Does that say Aquila? SS4 and the uh, Yapaki. Are you taking a piss? I mean, I am half Pakistani, so I'm allowed to say the way that's said, but that does say you Yapaki. Yapaki SS2. What the hell is going on with this game? Um, we've got grenade here, snapshot, injection mode, mulligan and unflinching, not bad to be honest, but not great. Let's see what the second one has. <laughs> that site, that site killed me. That site absolutely killed me, I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> Falcon SS1, uh, oh my days, it's there again, it's there again. Uh, we've got grenade here, um, snapshot, casket mag, eye of the storm and zen moment. Not great to be honest. Let's see what the third one offers. Oh shit! Oh shit, already I can see this is unbelievable. We've got, okay, uh, the Falcon SS1. We've got, uh, oh my days, oh my days, that sight. Um, we've got Lock in the Chamber, ridiculous. We've got Quick Draw, Oiled Frame, Quick Draw, amazing. And we've got Unflinching and Mulligan. This is an amazing weapon. This is in fact, I'd probably say it's overpowered. <laughs> this is an overpowered PvP weapon, and it's definitely what I'm going to take for damn sure. Flipping hell! No, there's no, there's absolutely, it's a no-brainer, guys. Number three is the one you pick here without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> that weapon was ridiculous. Okay, so the packages we can pick up for next week: we've got the Mullen Fusion Rifle. Uh, we've got the Herger D Pulse Rifle A Game. We've got the Louis Miller Deep Pulse Rifle again. Hopefully this time it has uh, max stability. We've got the Suros PDX 45 Pulse Rifle. That is actually a great, great weapon. I've already got one of them and it's an amazing weapon. It's sort of like on par with the Herger D. Uh, it does the same damage, free burst, headshot, kill, etc. But you can get them with max stability. So definitely pick up that one. And we've got the Strongbow D Shotgun, which can be pretty decent too. I think I may have one of them on me. Um, Yes, I do. I've got this one here, which I actually really like. It, it, it's quite beastly, to be honest. I mean, I've got Danger Close, Range Finder, and Rifle Barrel with a Linear Compensator. I mean, if you can get one with decent rolls, hopefully it brings it next week for you guys. It could be pretty beast. So, yeah, guys, that is what the Gunsmith has brought this week on the 11th of the 11th, 2015. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for stopping by, as always. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny, and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.